Delighted, Sarah. Great, good intro. We've gone well so far. <laughs> um, we are honoured to be here tonight with you guys. We hope you are doing well. We hope you have had a great first night. You know, we've had record numbers for a live stream. I mean, it is our first time, but that's okay. Um, and <laughs> honestly, honestly, we're so happy that you've joined us tonight. Um, yeah. How, yeah, how are you doing? So good. How good was tonight? So good. We loved Lit Emmanuel. Loved it. Absolutely smashed it out the park. What a legend he is. And <laughs> you love Joel. And Joel. You? Oh, my days. I literally love what Joel had to say. Talking about being an influencer, being an influencer for Christ. Just reminded me, you know, we're all influencers for Christ. Come on. It's that's what that, we like. That's yeah. our that goal, is what isn't we it? Like. That is it. And the, and the little, you know, all the, the girls on the beach. Oh. We need more of that. Yeah. We need absolutely Flipping more of that. So after party, this is where it's at. Every night we're going to be doing this for, uh, well, tomorrow night is a quiz, so make sure yeah. you're there. But then Saturday night we're back, and Sunday night we're back. So what can we expect from the after party while we're here? Well, we've got a lot going on with the after party. Tonight we've got some amazing stuff lined up. We have got an interview with New Wine Royalty. KB Royalty! will be joining us. KB! Yeah. Who got the vibe? Yeah. Who got the vibe? <laughs> KB. We've got KB who's going to be zooming, up, zooming in with us. Any minute now. We've got Luminosity's first ever dating show, Isolated Love, will be making its debut tonight. We're going to find love. We, we're going to find love. We're going to, well, we are. Well, we're Someone not. is. Hopefully. Someone, yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers End crossed. of this weekend, we want another wedding plan. So, um, what else have we got happening? Okay, what to not don't rush me, please. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I'm working through it. All okay, right, okay, 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 okay. we've got a face mask tutorial. We're going in with the the pamper night. We're having a chilled night tonight. We're, we're gonna our friend Josh, who's got the best skin we know, best he's, skin. Gonna, he's gonna be helping us sort out Jonah's skin because he's been having some issues recently. I'm breaking out. Quite stressed out. I'm breaking so out. So we're, we're <laughs> gonna sort that out. We're gonna be making a face mask, gonna be amazing. And we're gonna have some of the best live music you will ever witness tonight. Yeah, Woo! honestly, it's un honestly, it's gonna be unforgettable, the live music. We're, that's yeah. the, we're so excited about that. It's but jam packed. Every night we got a theme. Tonight is chill night. We're here. We're chill. We're in our comfy clothes. I'm sure you're in your comfy clothes. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we want to interact with you. We want to see what you're doing. We want to see what you're up to. We want to see who you're with. If you're on your own, don't matter. I'm always on my own as well. Absolutely love being <laughs> on my own. Love introverts <laughs> for the win. Anyway, so send us pictures of what you're doing. Send it to our Instagram at We Are Luminosity, and we'll get back to you. We want to speak to you on the live chat. We've got live chat right here. Yeah. We want to speak to you. We're going to shout you out. If you say something nice about us, if you tell me how good my skin actually looks, um, then <laughs> you know you, you can have a shout out. Um, but we want to get on that. And each night, we've got a, we've got a little food theme. Yeah. We want to encourage you to eat together, to enjoy um, some time together. And tonight is Chinese night. Who loves a Chinese? Love a Chinese. Oh, yes. Yes. We love a Chinese. Love a Chinese. So hopefully, Chinese. we'll have a little Chinese takeaway coming at some point in the evening. So, are we ready to meet our first guest? The king that is KB. Hey. Hello, KB. Hey. 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 There he is. KB, <laughs> my guy. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, can, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we hear you. We hear Wait, you. get a picture of KB. Oh, where is it? Can you see it? me right as well? Can you see us now? Hey, there yeah, we yeah, are. Hey. Yes, KB. Hey, KB, have you seen this picture? This is KB. <laughs> this is KB. He's here. This is KB. He, KB is new wine. <laughs> he is new wine royalty. This is KB representing Luminosity on the official new wine Instagram. This guy, he gets around. Look how good he looks here. Look, bro, you look so good in this picture. Listen, but what, what we want to do, we're trying to make this picture blow up. We want this to be the most light picture on the new wine Instagram page. Okay, Get over guys, there. do Everyone, your thing. Spam Get the likes. There. Get KB famous. We famous. want to be the records, all right? Come on. Come yeah. on. Yeah. We want, we want this picture famous. We're, at the end of the year, when you do your, the nine most popular squares on Instagram, this is going to be the most popular yeah, one on exactly. the official New Wine exactly. Instagram. Yeah. Anyway, brother, how, how are you doing? How are you doing? What have you been up to? I am good. I'm really good. 
I've been working on music, as you can see, like, yes. as well. So I'm just producing for an artist. Not easy, but I got, I got through it. I got through it. Yeah, wow. that's Bro, what we like to hear. Can you actually just tell all the people what you actually do? What is your job role? Uh, I, I do many things, but right now I'm just focused on music because uh, that's what I feel like God is taking me into. Yeah. Uh, but recently, like just throughout this lockdown, like I felt God challenged me just to, like he asked me, if I told you to give up music, would you do it? And it was a hard question. Like I really struggled with that. Mm. But uh, like, like I said, like only recently, I was like, you know what God, your will and not my will. So if yeah. you tell me to leave the music, I would like to leave the music because you know what's best. So yeah, yeah man, like for me, it's the music, but then again, doing God's will, whatever yeah. he takes me. Mate, we love that Let's so much. Love we love that. And that's why we got you on tonight because we knew you were going to say some good stuff like yeah. that. Um, <laughs> so, so you've been producing recently? What? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, say that again? What, what have you been producing? Have you been doing your own stuff or have you been doing stuff for other people? Uh, stuff for other people uh, it's only through the lockdown really that I've been doing that yeah. uh, and still apart from working on the music I've been working on myself oh like, yeah the lockdown, like God wow. the lockdown has really showed yeah like it's kind of like shone light on my weaknesses oh, and my struggles uh, what, I, I really like what Joel said about mental health like it's really important yeah. that you open up you speak to those around you yeah. and that's what apart from the music I've been working on myself just seeing what I need to work on uh, through also like people around me just helping me as well so that, that's what I've been doing wow oh, I love it well bro we actually love that, that so much are. that's so encouraging to hear yeah. and um I, I think a lot of people relate to that as well. Yeah, definitely. On oh, this time has been so good for for so many people. Yeah. Just spending time with God, getting close with with Him, and just get, getting deeper, yeah. and um, you know, just taking that relationship to the next level. And I love that, and um, we love that you've been doing that. And honestly, that's so inspiring to to hear that from from you as well. Now, just to, to move away from this a little bit, we ask the audience who yeah. are here to cheer. Woo! <laughs> And uh, they they had uh, they had some uh, quick questions for you, quick fire questions. Is that all right if we ask you some quick fire questions? Yeah, that's perfect. Go on. Okay, first question: What is the best bar you have ever written? Mm, haven't written it yet. Oh! Oh! This guy is it. Yeah. That, bro, bro, what? We, we've all got some of your favourite songs. You know, my favourite one is Peter Pan's Heroes. What, what's your favourite? Oh, Flippin' Love, You Did It. That's you my did favorite. it. We did, yeah. We know we know all your songs off by harming. Um, oh, that's sweet. And we, and we love all your bars, to be fair. Um, so we're, we're excited. But when, when are we going to hear some new stuff from you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I'll we'll see. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be looking out for it. I like it. it. You I look like out it. for it as well. Okay, greatest artist of all time, any genre? Uh, I'll say Drake because oh, okay. he's versatile. Mm, oh, I like okay. that. Okay. Great, love it, love, love it. it, love it. If you could play any city in England, where would you play? What's the dream? Uh, uh, in England, yeah. I will say Bradford. Okay. Really? Interesting. <laughs> That's yeah. quite rogue. I didn't see that coming. I like it. KB, this serious question coming up. Is there a KA yeah. or is it just KB? It's just KB, uh, but if anybody wants to be a KA. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Love it. Love and it. final question. <laughs> final quick fire question. Yeah. Tour bus or private jet? Tour bus. Just so like just have friends and family in there. Like, it would be Love that. Solid. And it's private better for the environment. Well yeah, that's private. what I was gonna say. Better for the environment. Yeah. Better for the environment. It. We love it. Now, KB, if we're honest. We we've seen um <laughs> we've seen where you are, we've seen where you are in life, we see that you're like, you know, you're a pretty big deal in the producing industry, new wine royalty. 
And um, we want to give someone here tonight, a, a very special friend, a friend that you know as well, the opportunity yeah. of a lifetime. Now, we have a friend called Joel. And he's... Bless Joel. Bless Joel. Bless Honestly, Joel. bless him. He's working on, on getting big in the music industry. Just quite hasn't, hasn't quite got that breakthrough. Yeah. And um, we were wondering if he could just play his, his favourite song for you and if you could just give him a few little tips. Is that something you could do? Ah, uh, yeah. This, Joel wrote this song. Yeah, let's do that. I want to hear it. Let's yeah. go. Joel, come in, so please. It's a big deal. I'll put my face mask on. Hey, KB. <laughs> hey, bro. Love you, Joel. How you doing? Good to see you, mate. Wherever I'm looking. Great to see you. Right. Am I in? He's in. Let's okay, hear okay. it. I've written this song, KB. It's called Green Eyes. And it's about my wife because she's got green eyes. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pray for you. Please tell me what you think. I'm gonna come in here a little bit. so you can keep up to date with what you're doing. Find my music on Spotify, uh, Apple Music, Google Play. You know, just search KEI-B. And then on Instagram, it's KEIB Music. That's KEIB Music. Same thing on Twitter, same thing on Facebook. So you just check me out on all those platforms. Definitely got new stuff coming. I don't know when, but it's definitely coming, and it will be good. Love yes, that. Mate. we love that. That comment. is what we want to hear. Amazing. Thanks so much, KB. Thank you, mate. Bless you. See you later. Bye. Great. Oh, my days. Flipping off that guy. What an honour it is to have the king. Remember, go on to uh, the new wine, official new wine Instagram. Spam that picture of KB. Get him, get him famous, and get Luminosity famous at the same time because we love him. Okay. Love it. Now, potentially. The only reason I've actually taken this job and potentially the best thing that's probably going to happen during the after party is the opportunity of a lifetime. Love is in the air and I think it's going to happen. But firstly, did anyone order a Chinese? Yay! show we're bringing you isolated, isolated love. love woo cannot wait can for we it. have a little jingle quick give, oh, give yeah. us the bridge 
Wait, Green what, eyes. We want, we want the we need, we need the intro to the to the song. Green eyes make me feel like. Okay, get on. Okay, okay. Great, amazing, love it. Okay. Great. So we have given one lucky contestant the opportunity. Here he is, Michael. How you doing, mate? We got Michael here. Can you hear us, Michael? <laughs> can you hear us, Michael? Yeah, I can, can you hear me? Yeah, mate, yeah we, can we hear you. Can you, can you see you. us? Can you see us? Oh, there, there we go. There we got it. We got it. There he is. Love it. Great. Hey, come on. Let's go. Okay, so Michael, he has, I mean, Michael's been struggling with love for a while. He texted me during lockdown. He said, look, Jonah, I, I've got close to God. I've been spending quality time with the Lord. Um, he's been he's been doing deliberate singleness seriously, and he honestly couldn't get closer. Their hearts are so in line; it's incredible. He is probably the holiest guy I've ever met. This is Michael, and he is ready to find love tonight. And well, we, you're gonna have some dates, mate. That's basically what's gonna happen. And the thing is, you know, some people you know, nice. they call they call new wine new wine, but I call new wine new love. You know why? Because new is the place to find love. Love yeah. is in the air. I always yeah. say the best place to find love is in church. A new wine is just like a big church. So, you there know, you go. gotta find love. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Yeah. Always gotta gotta find love. We, we, we had uh, a youth worker called Fiona, and she leads Thirst Week 2. And oh, she yeah. would always say in a team meeting, she'd be like, look, guys, this is an opportunity to find love. But Jesus comes first during the week. So you can do your free work, you can do your flirting, you can go That's on it. little dates, get a hot chocolate mountain. Borrow their Bible, you know. Borrow their Bible. Go to the, t go to the team canteen together. <laughs> you know, you know, Michael Get knows to know each stuff. other. And, That's it. And, but, you know, we don't want people to miss out on the opportunity. Yeah. So we're bringing New Wine Love to the After Party, to Isolated Love. So Michael, you know, what's been going yeah. on, mate? Where, what is happening with you? Why can you not find love? Why can I not find love? Yeah. yeah. That's a great question. You know what, yeah? I just feel I I just feel like the girl doesn't know what I think, you know. I think I've been so much. I've been the Holy Spirit. I've been a bit of pants. I've been some good dress sense. I love the vintage. Oh, oh I love it's it. Like, it's all right. If, 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 if you know what, if you don't want to be, then that's all right. But I'm coming. I've got a few dates so I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> And that's Michael, what we want to hear. I love the confidence, Michael. Yeah. Michael, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? What do you do? Where you live in? What church do you go to? Yeah, so I'm a third year student at Loughborough University. I study civil engineering. Um, oh, and I, wow. um, I start my, my own business this year. We sell vintage clothes. Um, and yeah, that's fun. And I've got two more years of uni. Um, and that's what you asked me there. What, what, what I do. So yeah. Mate, we love that. You seem like yeah. you seem quite busy. Maybe that's yeah. why you haven't had the opportunity to find love yet. Maybe that's yeah. a good point. So, th and this is why. Working hard, chasing the Lord. Yeah. yeah, chasing the Lord, working hard. We love all that. But this is why we've now given you the opportunity. We've done all the hard work. We found three amazing women, and we want to give wow. you the opportunity. So, is it time to introduce our? I mean, what? Our first date. Our first date. Can't wait. Are you ready, Michael? We got, we got Emily. We got Emily waiting for us. We got Emily coming. She's. Let's see if we can get her up. I don't know if she knows what's hit her, but it's fine. Now remember, guys, Michael and Emily can't see each other. Okay, this is a blind date. Hey, Emily! There she is. Wow. Hey, Emily, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can. Amazing. Emily. Hi, Sarah. You look Jonah. amazing tonight. You look amazing. Look Thank at you. you. You've really dressed up. Michael, yeah. if you could see what we're... Can, Michael, can you see? Dress. Oh, can look you at see? Me. Oh, yeah, because they're on the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a blind date, Michael! <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well done, Michael. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Emily. Yeah, you can look. You yeah, can look. it's fine. It's fine. You can look. You can look. <laughs> oh my days! Oh my days! Oh, okay. Cute. I don't know what I did. Wait, can we talk to Emily though quickly, Michael? Just be quiet for a second. Sarah's got some questions yeah. for you, Emily. We just want to get to know you a little bit more. Emily, we're so happy to have you here tonight. Um, we just want to know who are you? Where are you from? What church do you go to? Boom, boom, boom! Give us the answers. 
tonight was to play a little bit of Mr. and Mrs. So Sarah is going to ask Michael the question. No, I'm asking Michael the questions and you're asking Emily. No, other way, other way around, honey. No, other way. Is it? Yeah, it's well, other we're going to work it out. Don't you I'm, worry about I'm it. asking Michael questions that we already know Emily's answers to. Yeah. So we're going to be asking, I'm going to ask Michael a question and give him three answers. And one of the answers is going to be Emily's real answer. And he's got to guess which one is her answer. And this is just going to test like how compatible they are, if the vibes are there, you know. We, we, let's wait and see. Guys, know. we, we are I've taking this seriously. Hopes. We're yeah. in it for the real deal. We're so serious. Yeah. we got a vicar waiting upstairs, ready to come down and he's get ready. this marriage happening straight away. But, yeah. you know, we don't know what's going to happen. The, the answers might be terrible. So, yeah, exactly. now, you ask the first question. Sarah. Okay, Michael, I've got... <laughs> Michael, are you ready for here's, this question? Here's my question. First question for you. If Emily had to take Emily, one thing <laughs> to a desert island, what would it be? Is it her Bible, bug spray, or the One Direction Up All Night album? Ooh, that's a tough, that's a tough choice, man, because yeah. I, I, I think I, I, I think I know One Direction album is a pretty good album. <laughs> one Direction album is the wrong no, answer! No, he didn't say that, he said it was a good album. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well you still got two to choose from. <laughs> no, my answer is the word of God, the Bible, so she get that, that, that wisdom. Well, the oh. Bible is the wrong answer! Emily, Emily, <laughs> Michael. Michael, just Emily. Emily goes to church twice a week. She already knows the Bible off by heart. She doesn't need to take it with her. She's taking bug spray, bro. Yeah, it's gonna have to be bug spray. Yeah, I'm with you, guys. Yeah, fair enough. Honestly, honestly. Yeah. Emily, I'm with you. Like, anyway, you let, do Michael, let's do. not start an argument. Yeah, yeah, I'm with that. This is the first date. <laughs> right, number right. two. No, it's my turn now. Oh, but I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Dear me. Emily, <laughs> are you ready? What is Michael's worst <laughs> habit? Is it A, he farts a lot, <laughs> B, he supports Man United, <laughs> or C, he collects his belly button fluff? <laughs> That's a pretty bad habit. They're all a bit bad, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are bad. We're learning the well, truth here. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> <laughs> my, my family are big City fans. So oh. he's even more than Manchester. That's it, isn't it? I know, he's very worried as well. This could be, this could be, I can't see any Man United posters behind him. No. Nah. Um, Observer. No, I'm going to say Man United, because if it is that, this date's over. Oh, awesome. <laughs> then she's okay. clicking exit that zoom. Okay, so the answer was <laughs> Michael farts a lot. Got it. Okay. Well, so well, maybe that, okay. that, that might be the best one out of all those. It's natural. If it was the belly button, it's a natural process. It's a natural process. Okay. It's better, it's better out than in. Yeah, so true. I'm glad we're on so the same page with that. I'm glad yeah. we're on the same page with that. Yeah. Great. Right. Second question, Michael. Are Michael, you ready? we've got number two for you. Who would Emily... Wait, who would play Emily in a movie of her life? Is it Ooh. Zendaya, Halle Berry, or Rihanna? Ooh. Mm. Oh, three icons. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what are we thinking? Can I say the options again? This, this first one is Zendaya, and then, then Halle Berry, 
Oriana. Yeah. Well. 
Oh, we want to know, what do you rate this day out of 10? Bear in mind, this is the first one. We've got two more lined up for Michael, okay? We want to know what you think so far. What can he do to improve? Is Was this amazing? Let us know what you this think. Could, this could be the best this day. Could, this could be the one. We I think this went pretty well, to be honest. I think we've done some good matchmaking here. But Emily, <laughs> em, we have a quick question for Emily. Emily, you have um, one, you get the opportunity to say one last thing. You have one, like, you, you could do anything you want to try and impress Michael. And this is your opportunity to do that. Okay. Um, Michael, I wrote you a really quick poem. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, if you... <laughs> Let me just find it. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Silence in the crowd. This is this is the most romantic thing I've ever had. This might get emo it, this might get much issue. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Okay. okay. Roses are red, violets are blue. This is gonna be the, this is gonna be a big decision for you. It's gonna be tough because the other girls will be nice. However, they won't have the spice. Oh! <laughs> we love it. Um, it's been really great meeting you tonight, and I can definitely sense a little spark of light. You and me could be great. You have to pick me, see, and wait. Whoa! Yay! That is what we, we love. love it. Come on! Yes! Yes, Emily, we love that. Ooh. It's nearly honestly. I'm. My heart is pumping. My yeah. palms are sweaty. Oh, these sweet arms are heavy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is the start of something, guys. This honestly. Is, okay, okay. Final thing before we say goodbye, Emily. Rate this day out of ten. What are we saying? We got some. We got some rates uh, here. I want to know what Emily has to say. Um, as a math student, I'm gonna have to give the probability of it. I'm gonna have to say it's uh, seven and a half. Ooh. Ooh. Michael. Yeah. We love that. Yeah. We love that. Michael, love are you that. happy? With, Michael, are you happy with that answer? If I'm being honest, I'm quite disappointed. You know. I thought I thought I thought I thought I did well. I thought 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 Who's seven at nine? Evangeline Wakefield, wow! <laughs> Come on! Evangeline is loving Whoa. these guys. Three sixes. What's okay. the lowest? Oh, we got oh. a three. We got an awkward out of ten. I don't think that's true. Josh Glover. I, don't, I, think, that, I, don't, I think that's fake. Great. Guys, <laughs> a bomb. You, we have absolutely loved you. Emily, thank you so much. You Honestly, you couldn't have been better. We um, actually loved it. We'll let you know if you've won, I guess. If yeah. You've won. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to win, yeah. but that's fine. And Michael, <laughs> Michael, we will see you on Saturday night for day two. Oh, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Be there. Not tomorrow. Don't be waiting tomorrow, okay? It's a, it's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a quiz. Michael, it's the quiz tomorrow. If you want to do the quiz, come tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll do the quiz. I'll do the quiz. Okay, yeah. cool. We'll see you at the quiz, Michael. Yeah, anyway. Great. Okay. See you guys Love later. You guys. Love you so much. Bye. Thanks so much, guys. Clap at him. Bye. We love it. Love we it. Love it. Flipping love it. Right. Amazing. Guys, that was good. I that think. was good. That was real that was good. That was promising, wasn't we, it? We want to hear, if you have any advice for Michael, we're going to, we, can we get an Instagram story? I'm talking to mm. our social media guru. Can we get yeah. an Instagram story with a little question asking for advice for Michael? Because yeah. he needs as much advice as he can get. He, he struggled with love. And we're helping him get to that next level. So, yeah, if you have any advice he, yeah, he needs for Michael, some words of wisdom. he does. Yeah. He really does. Yeah. But yeah, thank you. We love them. We'll see Michael again. Make sure you tune in again. Great. Mm. What's happening next? Up next is my favourite part of the of this evening. Wow. We're having a pamper night, guys. Ooh. 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 Okay. And guys, this pamper night, we want you to join in with this. You need you need three ingredients. I've got them right here. I got them right here. You're gonna need, you're gonna need honey, you're gonna need lemon, and you're gonna need sugar. So you got literally 30 seconds to and get a, that ready. And a brush to put it on your face. And this apparatus that I found in Lee's kitchen. Can yeah. I use this, Lee? As long as you get a mat for the carpet. You're gonna have to get a mat. Oh Someone yeah, get we, a mat. We, we came prepared. We got a mat for the carpet. You don't worry about it. It's Great. Right. So we need. Our, oh my voice just went. <coughs> <laughs> I got too excited. We need our next guest on. Who is the one and only 
Josh. Josh. Oh, okay. Go on, you do. You do. He's called Josh Walton. <laughs> we lo- we love Josh Walton. He's called Josh Walton. Let's see. We go way back with Josh. Here Walton. he is, Josh Mark Josh Walton. Walton. Here he goes. Oh, we got a, we got a football fan there. We got other Reds. Josh, just a few words on Liverpool winning the league. What do you have to say? So good to be with you. Hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, massive season for Liverpool. Up the Reds. So happy. Up the Reds. Love That's it. what we like. Love That's it. what we like. Great, mate. How are you doing? Long, yeah, long mate, time no speak. Say it again, Sarah. I said long time no speak. We haven't spoken to you in ages. I know, I know. Too long. Too yeah. long. I'm doing so well, mate. I'm doing so well. Congratulations to you both as well on the wedding. Oh, thank thanks. you. Yeah. Thank you. We got married, by the <laughs> way, got, yeah. last Woo! couple of weeks ago. Yeah. This is our honeymoon. This is our honeymoon. We love it. We love We're it. We're here. Yeah. Um, Sarah's got some questions for you. Yeah. Josh, I want... Mate. I just want you to introduce yourself, okay? So, who are you? What do you do? What church do you go to? Go. Alright, nice, quick fire. Mm. Um, yes, I'm Josh Walton, I am 21 years old. Uh, I'm currently, well, I'm, I'm a student in Portsmouth studying TV, film, and media, um, but I'm currently spending my summer in lockdown working for my church, which is called Harbour Church, Portsmouth, uh, which is a HDB plant um, down here on the south coast. Love it. Love we it. Love that. And what have you been doing with the church during lockdown, Josh? Uh, so, um, obviously, as everyone is aware, church has. Well, the door's closed, but um, everything went online, so um, like I said, with my degree being a TV, film and media student, I um, was editing a load, I was filming a load, um, and just, yeah, helping put the services together so that, that we could still get three services uh, every Sunday. Love that. That's sick. We love we it. Love we that. love it. And what have you seen God doing in that time in lockdown while you've been working with your church? Oh, uh, God's been... <laughs> Man, it's been it's been um, yeah, it's been great actually. One of my one kind of lockdown happened and churches did have to close was that um, you know you never you, you I'd never say that God would stop working, but it, you you'd think it would be a bit diff- more difficult yeah. um, and it would be less obvious to see God working when um, when the doors of church close. But yeah, God's been speaking to me loads. Um, yeah. I think I've just been reminded of the potential of of God in this time. I've just been. Um, yeah, seeing people who I know don't know Jesus come to know Jesus in this time of lockdown. Yeah, um, yeah. And so for me, I've just been just been reminded of, of the potential that God has, even when the doors of His house close. Oh, flipping love we it! We love that. That, Josh. Was that, that here. This is why we got you on yeah. because you just speak so much wisdom. Um, so much truth. But if we're honest, the real reason why we have got you on tonight is because if we can get a close up of Josh's face, he has got the smoothest, the best skin we have possibly ever seen <laughs> this guy he uh, we want to know your your daily face whatever it is plan your skincare routine your skincare routine and, and we heard that you have a homemade little remedy that you use every day for your skin um and to be honest let me just say before a uh, little disclaimer not all skins will take kindly to this we don't actually know this <laughs> but, yeah uh, um yeah so if, if you have sensitive your skin risk. But, you know, if you have sensitive skin, it could be then fun for an experiment. Could be, yeah. it could be fun. So, Josh, take us through the steps of your skincare routine, because we're on a we're on a chilled night in. Yeah. We're having a pamper night, and we want to know exactly what you do. All right, sweet, sweet. Well, firstly, hey, that's kind, that's kind. But, um, <laughs> Do this every day. This is a, mm. a, a twice a week thing. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. okay. Uh, and like you said, Jonah, sensitive skin is, is not advised. Okay. Um, okay. All right, let me take let me take you through it. Um, you need three three ingredients for this. Yeah. Uh, and Bonnet. two utensils. So we start with oh, two utensils. Very, very simple. Oh, we got a bowl. Um, oh, a bowl. Go for a bit of honey. Hey, Jonah, I think we've got the same honey. No, we haven't. Oh no, quite. not quite. Sorry. Honey. Close though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got lemon. We got lemon. We Say got lemons. We got we got fresh lemon. Oh no, he's got lemon juice. Josh, are you a pip in or pip out kind of boy when it comes to the face mask? <laughs> We've well, oh, got pip in. Pip in, pip in, pip in. Yeah, of course. Rub it in there, rub it in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then the final final ingredient is a bit of brown sugar. Yes, here we go. We've got the brown sugar. Okay. 
Love it. Great. So talk us through it, Josh. I'm going to be mixing this up with you, and we're, we're going to try it on Jonah's face, see if he wakes up tomorrow with miracle skin. All right? Yeah. It will. It will. I can promise it to you, Sarah. All right, so we're going to start with a tablespoon of sugar. Right. I don't so have a tablespoon, Josh, but... If I'm, you haven't got a tablespoon, go by eye. I'm just going to... Uh, yeah. We're just going to go for it. I'm going to do a rough tablespoon. If you're at home, follow along with this. Right. Yeah, mine's a bit lemons. mine's a bit clumpy, is that okay? No, we're we're smoothing it out. Okay, we're smoothing it. We're using the back. Any, any sugar, anything at all, this is uh whatever you want. Hello. This is not a problem. Okay. Alright, we're next gonna go for a tablespoon of honey. Honey, love it. Um, Let's just put that straight on there. The tutorial said that um breast food. Oh brand new honey. honey. Oh, that just went everywhere. So get your honey in. We got we got our sugar and we're getting our honey in. This is what this is gonna do, she's And this is the bit you've got to get up, get up, get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this get is loads on that. Right. It's the lemon juice. Now, lemon juice is particularly acidic, so you've got to be careful with how. Oh yeah, how much how much are we putting on here, Josh? Things. If you put too much in, you wake up rap a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No one likes to be rash. <laughs> That's for sure. Get the lemon on then. Okay, I, but I want to make. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I like, think. What's if, the if not three, if not three drops, three squishes. Three squishes. Three squishes. Squi oh, okay. I just did one big squish. No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Give it a mix. Give, give it a mix. Give it a mix. Okay. <laughs> Let's give it a mix. Josh, there I just go. got. Oh yeah. Josh. Getting that sugar in there. And then are we just applying generously? And I tell you what, Josh, I've got four pips in here, so we're it doing is. well. Yes. We're doing well. So all you need to do now is give it a bit of Oh, a that mix. is a nice consistency. Can you see that guy? Bit of a mix up. That's what we like. And then Love it. Ready. Oh, I've dropped on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you put a mat down, isn't it? That's why you got your mat. Yeah. And a towel. Stay so prepared. Josh, while we're doing, Josh, while we're doing this, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do. I know. Just yeah. Go. Okay, I'm going for it. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Don't get it in my eyes. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. It's actually quite smelly. What does it smell like, honey? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be sweet as honey. Right. Make sure you get under the eyes, no, not under the eyes, not in the eyes. Not in the, the eyes, eyes, but under that's the eyes, bit. that's it. Cal oh, you're close to my eye! Uh, no, Jonah, I'm not going in your eye, you're fine. <laughs> it, just, it just feels like I am, okay? I promise. <laughs> it's all in your mind, Jonah, it's all in your mind. <laughs> Alright. And now, basically, let's oh, get it on sweet. your tash. Um, there we go. Josh, a nice, nice sweet treat. Josh, how long are we leaving this on for? Oh mate, so this is um, best left for about ten minutes. Um, nice. But the longer you leave it on for, the better. Uh, um, so yeah, it's up to you. About ten minutes, I'd say, is a minimum. Uh, I wouldn't leave it on overnight because you, know, you wake up with a bit of stickiness. And, um, yeah. <laughs> a bit sticky pillow. <laughs> anyway, Josh, we were just um. Before we came on, we were just reminiscing about about being at a festival and being at New Wine and mm. being at our Christian festivals, and we were just talking about some of the things we we missed the most. And one of the things we missed the most was, um, you know, youth group pranks and and pranking. And you and Sarah were in the youth, same youth group, and yeah, I was I heard a lot of like crazy stories. Like, is there a, a particular so out, didn't a particular youth group prank that you guys like want to share that that was just like out of this world? Hey. I'm sorry, I'm licking as I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Sarah, actually, I've got to give Sarah some credit, actually. Sarah was always very creative and um, oh, what's the prank, yeah, original with her pranks. But one one that really, oh, it's in the eye. One that really did ring um, quite nicely around camp. She wants, I don't know if she did it, actually, or if she was responsible for it. But she wants, but it was one of her comrades, but um, a garlic. Or a collection of garlics in oh someone's pillowcase and left it 
over over the whole day. So that when they came to sleep that night, the, the, that was a bad the, one. The, the, it was unbearable. That actually, that was actually awful, mate. That, that that broke the prank rules, if I remember. We got we got off talking to. Did you? Yeah, shout out Sarah for that. Um, I won't take credit for that one because I don't think that was me, and that had pretty bad consequences actually. <laughs> yeah. And Sarah, Sarah's, Sarah's got yeah, a. Yeah, good time. Sarah good had time a prank time. that she <laughs> tells me about a lot. Yeah. Sarah so tells me about this prank all the time. I mean, I wonder, Josh, I wonder if you remember this one. This was the main one that I was probably proud of. This is honestly genius. Yeah. This oh, is genius. I mean, I, I, I was, I was with, a, with, it was a group of us, so I can't take full credit. But basically, Soul Survivor, one year, we were week B, so we were like, you know, there's week A, B, C, we were in the middle. Other festivals are available. Yeah, not Soul Survivor anymore, but you know. Come to Luminosity. Come to Luminosity. Luminosity yeah. 2021. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you can do next year. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, anyway. I don't know if I'd buy it. Anyway. Just keep going. So basically what we did was we printed out these posters telling people that we want that we were having a Chewbacca Raw competition. Now I don't know if you've seen Star Wars, know who Chewbacca is. He's basically this like massive gorilla guy. Uh, I don't know if that's what Joel, not, can you do gorilla. the Chewbacca sound? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that so that's what we were looking for. So we said we're having a Chewbacca Raw competition. Put the number of one of our friends that was in our youth group on these posters and said nice. you need to submit your entry to this number, leave a voicemail and we'll get back to you if you win. We like gave we said there'd be like prize money. I think we said there'd be like fifty pounds or something like that. Literally put it all that's over true. site and it was actually <laughs> awful <laughs> he was like getting calls all week getting like a bit some people wouldn't even like introduce themselves they would literally it would be like leave your voicemail at the tone beep and they would just like roar like go for it <laughs> down the phone he was just getting these voicemails on repeat on repeat to the point where it was then week c we had left he like went on holiday to Spain and he was still getting these calls. Like wow. I, I think he literally got that like a few it. hundred calls. Like it <laughs> was actually, good. yeah. So yeah. you know what guys, I would recommend. It, it, it was funny. It send, was us in, send us in your best pranks that you've yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, put it in the chat. Get in the chat, I'll we'll read it, some uh, out. Yeah, see if you can beat that prank. Okay guys. Oh, here's one, we got some here oh, already. Okay. Read some out, just see what we've been doing. We put a tent on one of our leaders' car at Soul Survivor. Flip, man. That that would have got us in trouble, that's for sure. Um, my youth leader plays the, plays the harmonica using a kazoo using his nose. Love it. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> Someone cable tied all our chairs to the roof of the marquee at Soul Survivor last year. That is pretty Mad epic. King. Flipping love it, guys. Keep them coming. I want to hear it. I, I, I want to hear if anyone can beat the Chewbacca one. And let, let us know if you're pranking this week. Let us yeah. know. We want to hear about Are it. Are you still pranking? Yeah. Are we still pranking? Some yeah. people call Sarah Prank Lampard. You yeah. know. I do anyway. Uh, yeah. I haven't got any more. That's all I've got, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, thank you so much for coming on and teaching us this Love skincare you. routine. We're going to get it off. Um, you, don't sleep in it, mate. Don't want to be like Pooh Bear and get honey everywhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let us know. Send us in your pictures of you using your uh, doing the face mask that Josh has so kindly just taught us. Everyone give a round of applause to Josh. Thanks Josh. But yeah, bye bye, bye bye. Send us in your uh, homemade face mask, do it over the weekend. Yeah. Send it in to We Are Luminosity at We Are Luminosity Instagram and uh, we'll get them out. We'll, we'll maybe look at them, we'll maybe rate them, see what we think. Yeah. But now, Last, um, last, last guest. Oh, maybe not. We uh, we're having a bit of trouble. Technical issue. Is he not coming at all? Oh, he's not in the waiting room. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, how are we doing for time? Well, I think we're doing alright. I think we're doing alright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing alright. What time yeah. did we start, people? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. We'll keep going. I'll, oh okay. yeah. Okay, we'll read some comments. Let's see. Okay. If you want to shout out, get it in the comments now. We want to hear who's online. Who are you with? What youth group are you with? We want to see what's up. Get it on here. Yeah. 
Keep pre pre keep sending in your favourite pranks. Yeah. Joel Bowick cable tied me in, into a portal loo and I couldn't get out. <laughs> Joel Bowick! <laughs> We, Come here, Joel. Come and explain Joel, yourself. We want to hear this story. What happened this here? This is Beth, Beth Aiden is saying. Oh, this, well, I think I might be in shot here. Basically, <laughs> we were at a little youth conference and there was a portaloo there. And um, basically, I had the cable ties because I was the site manager at the time, um, somehow. And anyway, whenever I saw people going to the toilet, I'd sneak up to the toilet and just cable time quick. And just like that, they were locked in. And as you know, cable ties are very hard to undo. They are. And yeah, um, they are. I think Beth Aiden was, in fact, Beth Burby, sorry, was, in fact, one of my victims. And how long, Beth, can how you tell us how long you were stuck in there? Uh, yeah. Four minutes tops. Four we'll minutes we'll tops. We'll see what tops. she says, I mean. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. I'd well, say so. I reckon it was uh, a bit longer than that. But I can, I can tell you a say. good prank I did. Go on, tell us a good prank. Oh, yeah. We used to go, like, residential, that sort of stuff. One of the worst ones to do is when you'd get one of them old alarm clocks and you'd set like five oh alarms, days, like five yeah. different alarms, and you'd hide them like behind the wardrobe. So you'd like pull the wardrobe yeah, up, yeah, really yeah, had yeah. to put it behind there, put one under the under the bed, behind the door, all, all that all sort of stuff. All at different times. Yeah, and yeah. they'd be going off from two o'clock in the morning till seven in the morning, wow. and uh, yeah. that was a pretty bad one. That was a bad one. That, that is pretty bad. Yeah. Well, but yeah. yeah the, jock, 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 come here. Yeah, have, there you have go. one have of a these. Spring roll. In fact, let's do a quick eating competition. Okay. Jo uh, Lee Kirby, come here. Come you on, Lee. Come on. You gotta get in. Maybe for that side for you, like. Yeah, Everyone, you have that one. let us know. You have that one, Joanna, because you had some. I've already had some of this. Oh, yeah. You better pick that one up, Lee, because I, mean, I, I have. I've just oh, I can't that eat well. anything that anyone's touched. No one's touched that, have they? I just have a funny thing about these things. Yeah. I'm, I've Is already eaten bitten into that, that one. That one's not been bitten into. You've yeah. touched that. Yeah. That That's one's it. free. Yeah, go for Are we it. doing first one to finish the whole thing? Mouth empty. <laughs> between me and Lee. Right, it's right, between these Can you two. count us down, please? Oh, wait, I need to work okay. on this. Wait, should we okay. get, wait, should we get a do. countdown on? Five minute countdown? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> ready? On your marks, get set, go! Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's close. Oh, oh! oh, oh it's gotta okay, be but it's going to be mouth empty. Okay, Joel can still <laughs> catch up. That's it, that's it. Who's going to win? We don't want any choking today. We want some charging. Keep going. Keep charging going. That's people. it. behind you fully we love you team six that's where it's at um da -da 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 i think that's good yeah i think that's great. good great first night i think what are we thinking about this final call is he coming coming is invaluable okay okay fine. we'll have him on we'll have, we'll have him on another night yeah that's we cool. have a, you know what guys oh he's connecting apparently oh 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 okay Ooh. okay this could, be it. this could be it let's see how, if it works Ooh. oh he's here He's here! Yes! We got him! We got him! Sorry about that. My technical, technical difficulties, but you know. Josh! How are you doing? <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Can you hear us? Josh, where are you? <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, mate. I'm in Israel currently. You're wow. in Israel? This guy! What? Go That's com guys, committed. Guys, Luminosity oh. has just gone international. We're in Israel right now. Um, Josh, what are you doing there? <laughs> so at the moment I work for um, a house of prayer. Um, so my job really is quite cool actually. I just have to worship God in a prayer room, basically. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. Lit. Yeah. Love it. That's I mean, what I do. I wish we could all do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right for some, isn't it? 
Great. Oh, yeah. and, and Josh, have you been in Israel the whole of quarantine? Uh, yeah, I have. I've been in Israel the whole the whole of quarantine. No, wow. I have, but this is kind of what, what happened, so, yeah. Wow. wow. What's we... that been like? What has it been like? Yeah. It's been, yeah. <laughs> it's been very much like, I guess, not making a plan and just seeing how things go. Yeah. Not knowing yeah. what exactly is going to happen, but yeah, it's been, it's been yeah. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. And Josh, um, like... Clearly, you're spending a lot of time with the Lord. You're spending time with Him. You're getting closer to Him. What is the best thing that He's been teaching you during lockdown? Oh, good, good question. What is the best thing He's been teaching me? Um, I think generally for me, it's been like making like decisions, but like trying to base them in faith. You know, trying to yeah, make right. faith decisions when everything seemed completely uncertain. Um, yeah, just trying to make a decision in faith and be like. I'm not going to allow worry to decide what I do. I do. Yeah, that's kind of been like the main thing, I guess. Well, we love that. We love that, and that's yeah. it, like we are. We love that. That's so true. Not making decisions in worry, just yeah. going with what the Lord's doing, staying calm because He is in control always. Exactly. Now, Josh, the reason that I got you on here is because you are the last person on tonight's episode of the After Party, and I want to finish every night and take it back to God, back to where it's all about, back to to, to what it is about. And what I would, oh, we're just sorry, Lee just fell over a guitar. Lee. Don't worry about it. Lee's been a mess tonight. Oh. Come on, Lee. <laughs> better tomorrow, please. Woo! Better, to, yeah, more better from you tomorrow, Lee. Um, but whenever I think of Josh Paulcrick, I think of you walking around the back of uh, Club One, praying over people, getting amazing pictures, prophecy. I, the thing I think of when I think of Josh Coolcrick is po- prophecy. And I just wondered if you could like, just tell us a bit more about that. What is prophecy? Um, what does it mean to you? And like how, if, if it's a gift of the spirit, how did you get that gift? Oof, oof, love that. Full on questions, love it, it's great. Um, yeah, I, I would say in whichever order, those questions i'd say like yeah i'd say like prophecy a lot of it is to do with just you know hearing god and um, whether that is through his word whether that's like um, an impression that he gives you a thought maybe in your head dream mm-hmm. lots of different things um and i think for me it kind of started when i was younger i had a lot of dreams um and then sometimes i'd have like a dream something would happen and then it would happen in real life or something wow. like that um, wow. And then I remember there was this one time where, like, I kind of felt like God told me to give someone money. I didn't end up doing it. And then I remember, like, they actually needed money at the time, like, after, like, I felt like I was meant to do it. And so after that, I remember saying to God, like, okay, God, you know what? You do speak, and I, I want to hear what you say. So that was kind of, like, where it started for me. And I kind of, like, started, yeah, saying to God more and more, like, yeah, I believe you do speak, so please speak to me, you know? Like, I don't want to miss it again. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. That's amazing. And how, if you're a young person listening to you speak about this, how can you encourage them to step out and trust God like like you learned you had to? How do we encourage them? Yeah. I would say mm. that, yeah, sometimes, like, when God speaks to us, like, he uses, like, he speaks in our, like, own language, right? So, like, it might be in a really simple way. And I guess, like, I just encourage people that it's a gift of the Spirit to to go after it and say, God, I want this gift. I want you to use me in this way. And I think it's as simple as that. And then moments where you might feel like God's telling you to go do something that's, like, a good thing, right, or an encouraging mm. thing, something that's going to help somebody else, I would just say, like, yeah, like, go for it, you know? Take that step of faith. And yeah. I think, yeah, there's been different moments where I've had to take that step of faith and realize, wow, this was actually God speaking, and this is actually benefited the person who's on the other side of it, you know? Yeah, yeah, 100%. That's amazing. I think, like, the main thing that I got from that was that, you know, as long as it's helpful, it's encouraging, it's not bringing someone down, then just go for it. Because even yeah. if it isn't from God, you're still helping someone, you're still adding something exactly. to someone's life, and you're, you're still, still encouraging someone. Yeah. That, that's so good, mate. Thank you so much. I would wonder if you could just pray for all the young people at Luminosity quickly before we let you go back to, to, to wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> Doing your thing. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I'd love to. I'd love to pray. I'll be good. Um, yeah, yeah, Father, I thank you so much because you speak to us and you love to speak to us. Actually, you want to speak to us more than we want to listen. So I actually just pray, actually, that, yeah, you'd help us to just, to just listen to you, to make time to hear your voice. And I pray that you'd give us all just boldness to step out and speak 
to people, even when it might feel awkward <laughs> or like we don't have the right words to say. Um, yeah, in your name, amen. 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 Mate, thank Love you so it. much for coming. Thanks so Woo! much, John. Love it. What a way to end. What a way to end. That's, that's what Guys, I like. this is it. First night, Luminosity. One absolute I smashing mean... night we've had. Honestly, couldn't have gone better. We're gonna shout some of you guys out now. Yeah. Rip, let's take it in turn. All right. Let's Ready? You go first. Okay. St. Paul's Youth Salisbury. Wait, oh, wait. you don't start at the top. I mean, Christ the Rock. Okay. Yate Youth. St. Mary's Luton Youth. <laughs> Twerksbury. Wait, does that say Twerksbury? Twerksbury. He's dyslexic, okay. <laughs> you know, give him some grace, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Baptist Church. Yeah. Alverston Parish Church. Woo! S T C defined youth. Baptist yeah. Church Bradford. Yeah. Woo! T oh, I assume that's gonna be St. Paul's Ealing. Woo! St. Paul's Salisbury. St. Yeah. Paul's Leem. <laughs> Limington. <laughs> Limington, I can't. Wait, it doesn't say that, it says Leem. It, it does say Leem to be fair. Okay, anyway. Tavistock Youth Group. St. Swithin's Holy Bar. Trinity. Oh. Holy Trinity Aldershot. And Loughton Youth. There we love you. Go. Guys. We're, we're gonna finish it there. You've been absolutely blessed and remember, send us in um, your, your pictures off, your chill night in, your face mask routine. Yeah, we, we wanna, wanna see we wanna it know everything. Remember to get on the uh, Instagram, tell Michael how he can do better. What does he yeah. need to do? What, what's the next step just to take his, his dating game to that next level? Remember, at We Are Luminosity. Joel or Alicia, do you wanna come tell us what we're doing tomorrow? What time we start tomorrow morning? Oh. Joel's coming. Joel's coming. Hello. That's it. Back again. Tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Um, it's crumpet cereals and chat. Please join me and listen. We have lots of fun and games. We're gonna do a Bible morning devotional for you. We're gonna have lots of fun. We're also gonna learn from the Word of God. We cannot wait. We'll wow. see you there. Love that. Love, love it, guys. We'll Can't see wait. you tomorrow night. It's the quiz. Get a team together. Do on your own. Doesn't matter. We want to see winners. That's what we're here for. There's prizes. Peace of prizes if you win. Oh my days, gotta get Can't it. Wait. Love you guys, see you tomorrow.